In this episode, we're gonna work on getting some lights working and try and get some of the interior back in. try and work on these uh, tail lights now. Uh, what I've got is basically just a basic uh, voltage tester or power tester. Um, got some bulbs that were in here. Some of them work, some of them don't. I'm just going to run through a few tests here and uh, see what I can figure out. Confirm that I've got power going to all the sockets and the different functions and then just see if I can get any of these bulbs going. Just to confirm that they're working, I'm probably going to replace them all anyways, but uh, the previous owner actually has uh, LED lights into the uh, backup lights. We'll see if I can get those working, and uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. Then we'll, once we're done here, we'll kind of move up to the front, see about the headlight situation. <laughs> Okay, so by shuffling around the uh, working bulbs that I have, uh, I managed to get this side all working. Um, I'll do a little demo here for you. Uh, this bulb is a little dim, but right now <coughs> we do have a uh, tail light on, and then I will put it into reverse, show you the backup light. I'll do the turn signal. It'll flash quickly because not all the bulbs are hooked up. And then I will show you uh, the brake light. So, here we go. That's all working. Let's uh, move on to the other side, make sure those circuits are all working. And then uh, basically, it'll just be a matter of uh, purchasing all the correct size bulbs to make everything uh, Get it all back together for good. Okay, now let's do the same quick test on the uh, driver side. I think I've got it all working and uh, let's give it a test. That's a success. So that's uh, tail lights working. Fantastic. I do have to pick up a few bulbs to get both sides working at the same time, but uh, happy that all the uh, circuits are working. Actually, the only other thing I've got uh, that I have already confirmed that I need bulbs is for the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the license plate lights. So uh, yeah, that's the wiring for those. And uh, other than that, I'm, uh, happy with this so let's move on to the front okay so moving up to the front of the car as I mentioned before the wiring in this vehicle has been a bit of a hack together by previous owners and things like that so we're trying to just work through it and figure out uh, how everything works so because a lot of the wires the coloring isn't matching or anything like that as well uh, after discussing and kind of planning with my client slash daughter uh, Mackenzie, we are uh, we kind of decided to long term goal is to replace this grill with uh, the original style to this model year, which would be which would not have these inner headlights. So um, basically, what we're going to do is concentrate right now on just getting the outer headlights working with both high beam and low beam, and then uh, as well because we don't have a proper bumper which normally houses the turn signals, 
we do have a plan for that. So um, right now we're just gonna try and figure out where the wiring is, if it's working, figure out high beam, low beam signal lights, and where those wires are so that we can uh, use those connections in the future. Here's my uh, test light here, um, and with the headlights on, I can, let's see if I can figure out whether we're getting any uh, power to this headlight switch. We've got power to this outlet here, I believe that's the ground, and this is high beam. So right now low beams are on, and we are, hopefully you can see that, we are getting power to uh, this connector. Let's try high beams. Okay, so with high beams on, we no longer have power to that connector. Again, I think that's the ground. And but we do have power to what I believe is the high beam outlet. So that connector is working. So that's our uh, passenger side headlight connection. Seems to be working good. So now let's try the uh, turn signal on this side. So here's the connector down here. Uh, and we are getting power there. And once we ground it, we're getting power there. So. That. that's good all right let's move on to the driver's side okay so now working on the driver's side here is my plug uh, this should be high beam currently got the high beams on high beam is not working and as we have determined why that is here is the wire running to the high beam not connected so we'll have to trace that back and figure out where that's supposed to be going let's try the low beam low beam we've got power fantastic okay now if I can find the okay, here's my turn signal switch or connector sorry let me uh, Turn the turn signals on and see if that works. Oops, wrong connector. Up and down here. And do this flashing flashing dimly, but we are getting power there, so another success. So. <clears throat> so originally I thought this was a ground, the second connector, but uh, it's lighting up when I ground it, so I guess that's uh, direct power to the signal light. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so that's the front headlights uh, wiring figured out, other than I've got to now uh, basically connect this uh, high beam wire to wherever that's supposed to be so work on that now take a break from wiring uh, that high beam on the left hand side uh, there's no wire for it so I don't know what how that happened but uh, what I might have to do is just splice into the wire going to the passenger side high beam I think that's what the previous owner had done there's some uh, signs of that but uh, anyways I'm gonna move on to the interior again now and maybe uh, start putting back some side panels and things like that, possibly put the uh, back seat in kind of semi-permanently, and uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there.
Okay, so that's where we're gonna end this video. Uh, we're happy with the progress we're making. And uh, as always, if you'd like this video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Analog Generation.